Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What Still Works, Use It or Lose It, where I go through my art supplies and and see what still works for me. And mostly I'm going through the less popular <laughs> supplies, the more neglected ones in my stash, because the ones that I use all the time, I know that I love them, I use them all the time, so uh, I don't feel the need to dive into them in the series. So today I'm focusing on graphite and I pulled out what I think is most of the products that I have that are graphite related. And the way that I'll do this video, first of all, I'll go through all of these uh, products and share my current opinion and impressions about them. And then I'll start to just playing a little bit with them with watercolors, which is the main medium that I use in my artwork. So for me, it's all in that uh, connection, like how does it work with watercolors? And uh, hopefully this will be helpful to you and also to me. So maybe I can reintroduce some of these to my uh, kind of regular routine. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Irit. I'm a watercolor mixed media artist. I mostly do watercolors. I mostly paint uh, abstract loose florals and I do use uh, mixed media in almost all of my paintings. And you can see a lot of those videos on my channel uh, if you want to see kind of more specifically my style. And yeah, I do love to combine pencils and yeah, mostly pencils. So these other products are a little bit neglected. But let's start with kind of going through these and I'll tell you what they do. Um, in general, I would divide pencils and graphite to soluble and non-water soluble. And I used to be more into the water soluble ones and now I'm much more into the non-soluble ones. So there's no um, what is better and what is um, like worse. It's about personal preference and how you enjoy your product and the kind of look that you want. So I'm going to start with just like the regular pencils. Let's move because most of this is just the one set of uh, graphite tint. So I'll get into these in a moment. Okay, so I can immediately pull out from this bunch my favorite pencils. And I just have this beautiful sketchbook from Hanne Mullet. I think it's called like a cappuccino. It really doesn't show on camera the way that it is in real life. I think this is might be a bit more true to the color. It has like this light coffee color that is, it almost has like a very, very delicate pinkish like peachy undertone it's not as yellow as it looks on camera and it's a really uh, pretty sketchbook so my favorites are these precious babies these are kind of my current go-to pencils if I want to do um, you know really like a, a pencil sketch which I actually rarely do uh, I do enjoy using this pencil. It's a beautiful pencil, has a good weight to it. It's metal. This is the Graph Gear 1000 by <laughs> Pentel. And this is the 0.9. This is made in Japan and you can really feel that it's like the kind of pencil that will last you for years. I still have um, one mechanical pencil from high school and I went to high school over 20 years ago so <laughs> uh, if you buy something good it can really last for a very very long time uh, I think I have a, a 2B lead in it which is my preferred kind of sketching um, lead softness I do like it uh, a bit soft so I usually don't use like HB I usually use a 2B for the sketching it's a beautiful beautiful mechanical pencil and I think it also comes in the standard sizes uh, I like the 09 it's it's a good fit for me so this is a definite favorite this one goes with my um, take anywhere 
little pencil case. Not so little. So that's number one. My favorite black, not like water resistant pencil is head, hands down, not heads down, hands down. The Stedler Mars Lumograph Black. I love the 8B. It's super, super intense. I used to use this more in my artwork. Um, I think if you go to the, if you are enrolled in my intuitive watercolors class, then this is featured in that first week of the class. Um, this is fantastic. If you really want kind of a, a pencil, so the whole pencil look, pencil look, pencil experience, but with a black lead, which just gives you a more contrast, more dramatic look. Um, look no further. This is fantastic. And wait, I got this in this set, which I know is sometimes it's not available everywhere, but this has 12 of the Mars Lumograph and it has four of the black ones and then eight yeah eight of the regular ones they're all great just really great kind of go-to pencils uh, i use the 2b the regular one that is not black for sketching but also they're all really really great um if you're not a pencil person and you want to try this pick up one if you do love kind of you know go-to pencils that you can count on and you don't mind like sharpening them or you prefer to sharpen them than using a mechanical pencil um, these are beautiful just great pencils so the black one is I, I love the 8b black one it's it's intense but it's not like super soft that it breaks all over the place and then these babies I have a few more these are the Palomino Blackwing pencils. I don't know, this is like unicorn pencils that are hard to find and are really expensive and you're thinking like, why is it worth it? If you like pencils, treat yourself to one of these. You can find on Etsy like sample packs and depending on where you are in the world, it can get kind of expensive with shipping. I think I found, I think I had these shipped from Canada. The shipping was as much as the pencils. Um, but yeah, if, if you want like a really nice, luxurious experience of a pencil, I mean, these are just, they are so beautiful and everything about them is lovely. If you're a collector, don't look into this because they have, I'll just show you, they have special editions. And actually the one that I really, really wanted, I haven't been able to find for a price that I'm willing to pay. There is one that maybe if I tell you, then people will go out and buy it and it'll just be out of stock forever. There's one that I think the pencil is like blue and then the eraser is this kind of violet color. Um, yeah, but they, they do special editions every year and they're just really really beautiful pencils what can i say um you know if you think if you if the look and feel of your art supplies is something that really inspires you and um you know just like motivates you to keep sketching for your next birthday <laughs> or <laughs> just next pick me up Pick one of these, what can I tell you? I love them. Are there great pencils for half the price or a third of the price? Yes. Do I still love them? Yes. Do I still want them? Yes. Will I buy more? Maybe. <laughs> okay, so those are really my go-to. And then when I preferred to use water-soluble pencils, my absolute favorites were the Stabilo all pencils and these kind of go on everything they come in, in uh, several colors I have the graphite and the black one and I have the white which I don't like I don't think it's worth the money it's not opaque enough it's just not um, so you can see I've gone through uh, several of these and what is great about them and this is just not the right paper to show you but 
these when they touch water they are so intense there's so much pigment in them and especially the black obviously uh, so if you want that effect that water soluble kind of really playing around I'll show you just how nice it is to okay we'll do that in the demo uh, section I think they're great and if you kind of want to try a water soluble pencil for sketching and then activating it with with water or combining it with watercolors uh, I don't think you can go wrong with these they're very affordable mostly easy to find in at least in Europe and the US and I think they are great now there are all kinds of other water soluble uh, similar products I have a set by Derwent it's called the graphite tone and they are just like um, woodless pencils that are water soluble and uh, the set has there are a few more that I don't know where I have them but um, again it comes in like 6b 4b 8b there's a 2b and I think there's a b and uh, the up like the higher you go with the number the more intense the wash is when you activate them with water I yay, 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 I don't love these I've used them several times I gave them more and more and more tries you do get a lot of product here so that is you know a, a, an advantage of like woodless pencils but yeah I still the stabilos are just so much nicer not a big fan of those then I have just like a, a lead from Jackson's with a Jackson lead holder uh, these are nice if you just want thicker lines if you enjoy that look um, yeah then go for uh, a thicker lead you have those options they come in different thicknesses I think this one looks like uh, oh it says it's 5.6 millimeters and they have um, thinner ones but yeah this is really fun for that kind of sketchy messy look like distressed look you can get it quite easily with the thicker leads so this is a nice product I have from what are you Fabel Castell the pit graphite uh, these are I'm not sure if these are water soluble but again it's like a woodless thing it's huge I think the brand Lara has a similar product and yeah the experience is kind of similar to these never really fell in love with it I don't think it's anything special the one that I really didn't like is the Greta Color Monolith and I think this is actually an Austrian brand this is 9B and yeah it's actually if you want like really intense uh, graphite you know you can get it actually quite easy with this but I don't usually use pencils for that purpose um, yeah actually it does it looks like I'll tell you my problem is the colored ones I got these together and these were very very disappointing uh, this is the aqua monolith so not really in this category of graphite I would call it but more of a just a like a watercolor pencil or water soluble pencil and I didn't like them at all I think the they're just like black kind of didn't really impress me oh there's my white stabilo all pencil yeah you can see how it looks on this um, paper like toned paper it's not bad it's not a bad product yeah actually on toned paper it's not bad at all we'll see how it works with I have the toned watercolor uh, sketchbooks from Hannah Muller so I think those would be fun to test with the um, with the graphite okay so if you want like a woodless really really intense pencil try the 9b from Creta Color Monolith um, yeah these also come in other numbers so less soft but yeah this could be a good way of like shading a larger area fast with a pencil still 
So that is that. Now these are, I am going to include them in this uh, video. These are the graphite tint by, oh, got a runner here. That's a Kylan Dash one. The graphite tint pencils from Derwent. And I have the 24 set. I think these are all the colors or almost all the colors. I do think I have a dedicated video to that. So I will link you to it if I can find them. These are really great. If you like the whole experience of uh, pencil, traditional graphite, but you want a little bit of color, these are not uh, very, very bright. As you can see, they're all muted. It's called graphite tint, so they're all like tinted pencils, but you can see it's not like super muted. There's still color here. Um, so if you really like that kind of color palette, uh, kind of a neutral, not neutral, like a natural muted palette. Uh, you might enjoy these. These are good pencils and they are water soluble. So we'll play around with them. I think they can be fun for sketching. Um, all these products, you know, the majority of them are like really good. Just not sure that they work for my style. So this is one of the brightest colors. This is Meadow. Oh, this oh no, the video stopped and I don't know where. So let's get into the more unique ways of using graphite or like non-traditional pencils. So the ones I have are, I have this adorable tin, which I give the packaging a 10, a 10 out of 10. Let's zoom in. A bit more. This is Art Graph by uh, Vialco, which is a Portuguese brand, and they have really, really fun products. This is their watercolor graphite, and this is the 20 mil, I want to say. I think there's a larger version of this. And it's just like, um, like a block. I can't get it out, but it's just like a block of graphite that is water soluble. So you can do like pencil sketches or sketches in graphite uh, in the same way of using watercolors. This is not a unique uh, product and other brands uh, also offer similar things. And one brand that I think is quite known is uh, Derivan not Derwent, it's Derivan, and this is an Australian brand. And they have a product called Liquid Pencils in a variety of colors, uh, all very, very, very like graphite muted colors. Uh, I have the Sepia and Gray 3, and I will show you later how these look because I have, these I've had for years and they're quite dry. The When I got this, this was kind of full, but these are rewettable. They have a rewettable formula and then one that is not rewettable, uh, which, you know, would work really well for like layering because it's permanent once uh, dry. So you can search for that. And I know they also come in tubes. Uh, I think the jars are available, are more widely available. I think Jackson's carries them. I will have links to everything, but um, yeah, this is again, if you want to use graphite like you use watercolor, then, and you can take what I did is I took some of this uh, product and put it in a half pan and put it in my watercolor palette. And it's there, but I can't tell you that I use it um, often or hardly ever. So today we'll see if I can make these work for me. And then the ink tents, uh, not the ink tents, the graphite tint. Um, set from Derwent is kind of the same thing, but with even more t of a tint to it. So it's more colorful than this range that they offer Derivan. Um, yeah, I think they just have like gray and sepia and something. All very, very, very muted colors. Now the last thing is the XL Graphite Blocks. This is by Derwent and yeah, these are graphite blocks. They are quite messy. And these would be great if you like to do large sketches or, you know, paintings with uh, with graphite, 
what you could do the way that you know this could work for you if you also want it like permanent is to put down the product do your sketch do your painting and then go over it with something like clear gesso or any kind of acrylic medium let's say something like where are you like the GAC 100 so you could instead of water you could activate it with something like this and then it'll be permanent once dry and you can see I barely handled it and my fingers are already completely dirty um, Derwent does offer these covers but to me I mean I did get it because <laughs> it was calling me in the store uh, so you can put these on your blocks this will fit the charcoal blocks and the graphite tint the graphite not tint the graphite blocks uh, and uh, you won't get so dirty but you know it's it's just like another product that you pay for so <laughs> in that way it's a little bit annoying um, and these are again these are tinted some have more color than others so this one is quite green and then this one is blue this is raw umber actually a nice raw umber that I don't hate this is burnt umber you can see quite messy um, but you can use these they are water soluble so you can use these with just a brush you go in with a wet brush and you pick up the color and you can use it like that. What was that? That was called, I don't know what that word is. Gold? <laughs> I don't know. What are you, soft? Oh, soft, soft. I think it's soft and then this is very soft. <laughs> so I think you would enjoy this if you don't mind the mess of, um, you know, all this you can see. Like, there's a lot of mess here. Uh, if you don't mind that, if you enjoy it, um, I think these are fun for you can get really kind of loose and artistic and make like big sketches. It could be an underpainting for acrylics. And yeah, it is what it is, you know? Make your decisions. For me, this is quite um, a reason not to use them because I'm super messy as it is and I prefer to use just less messy products that's one of the reasons that I love watercolors so much they're so so user-friendly they're so mess free compared to pretty much any other media maybe uh, pencils but any kind of like something that can you know that you can put down with a brush or cover larger surfaces nothing compares to the cleanliness of watercolors <laughs> okay now let's get to the playing part Okay, so I have to say that from all the videos I made in this series, this was probably the, um, I don't know, kind of the most expected one because, you know, it's pencils. I've used pencils before. I use them all the time. But um, yeah, I thought I would give it a go and I thought it would be also a fun opportunity to pull out these uh, kind of tinted paper sketchbooks that I have from Hanne Mühle. So you'll see two of them or the two that I have in this video. This one is the um, like light brown one, which I do prefer. And then I have a smaller gray one. So yeah, I know what pencils do. And I think for the most part, the kind of fun part of making this video was using actually the graphite tint um, watercolor pans from Derwent. So these are a lot of fun. Uh, I do think the colors are beautiful and you get that nice kind of graphite granulating effect. So I did enjoy that, but it's just not where my heart is. However, if this, there was one color that did give me the feels, but <laughs> uh, other than that, um, it's just like my color palette, my color cravings at the moment are in a different place. And 
Yeah, it's just, you know, I love pencils and I do sometimes sketch with them, especially when I'm painting with Lily, my daughter, uh, because I don't always start with the watercolors just because usually she sits on me and then it's just easier to <laughs> sketch with one hand because she insists that I also <laughs> paint something as she's painting. So uh, I do find myself using a lot of pencils, but then again, I tend to just go with the Prismacolors or colored pencils. Um, yeah, what I want to say, as I was just playing around and painting with these, the sketchbooks are really nice. And uh, if you enjoy sketching on tinted paper and you use, yeah, that color is great, isn't it? So pretty, kind of a red, rusty color beautiful uh, not my usual but I, I really really enjoyed it anyway uh, if you enjoy sketching with you know pencils and doing light washes I think you would really enjoy these sketchbooks Hannah Müller makes excellent um, products and their watercolor sketchbooks are um, yeah are good is what I want to say. I had a better expression in my head and it are no exception. That's what I wanted to say. They're, they make good products and the sketchbooks are no exception. They're really nice. I really like their regular ones. They're kind of a little bit boring. That's why I prefer, well, actually prefer the Fabriano one. Also the paper is more to my liking, but it costs like, I think four times <laughs> than the <laughs> uh, Hannah Mule uh, sketchbook. So yeah, good stuff. What I also, what I was thinking as I was playing with these products, I mean, the pencil is a pencil and, you know, I hope that, oh, now you can see the Stabilo all black in action. It's just when it touches the water, you can see like just how intense that pigment is. So it's a really, really great uh, pencil. Highly recommend it if you're in the market for something like that, like a water soluble pencil. Um, it's really good. But when it comes to all of these like graphite tint pans and also, yeah, mostly the graphite tint. I mean, once I started playing with them, then I pulled out the Derwent XL uh, graphite as watercolors. If you want to use them as watercolors, the blocks, the XL blocks are just redundant. Um, it's more of a product if you want to like sketch like really messy on a large scale then the XL graphite blocks are really fun but if you just want that watercolor effect like picking up the product with uh, a wet brush then go for the graphite tint so it's like no doubt about it but what I want to say <laughs> and for some reason I can't get to that point is I think that this product, the graphite tint uh, pans, are more suitable or would be kind of more fun for people who predominantly sketch or use pencils and want to, you know, either explore a new medium or kind of venture a little bit into watercolors. I don't think this would be so exciting for people who use predominantly watercolors. That is kind of what I was thinking. So I think if you really enjoy sketching with pencils and you want to add a bit more color, a bit more texture, and just like that flowy look of watercolors, then uh, I think this is a really fun addition. But for a watercolor painter, I don't know if this is so appealing. I mean, you do get a somewhat unique look because of just the material, the graphite in these um, pans. It does, there is like a separation. It is interesting to look at, but since it also rubs off, I think something just like, you know, granulating watercolors um, it's just kind of more convenient to work with. That's kind of how I feel about it. But I did enjoy them and I think they're a good product. And I definitely like once I have those, I can really see how these uh, XL graphite blocks are going to be neglected because I don't think I will be using them 
um, you know, like as a block, just to take that block and sketch with it. It's just too messy for me. And you can see like applying them with a brush, it's very, very, very similar to the graphite tint uh, pans and you get a lot more color and it's a lot more compact. So the graphite tint pans uh, kind of win. Um, I am glad that I made this video. It didn't really change how I felt about pencils, although there's something about it, just the simplicity of, you know, taking a simple sketchbook. It doesn't have to be like a fancy watercolor sketchbook and just sketching with pencil. There is something really enjoyable about it. It's like, you know, going back to basics and personally, I really enjoy it. And I especially liked uh, sketching actually with my mechanical pencil, the Pentel 0 0.9. It's just a really, really lovely uh, pencil to sketch with. And the usual, the Stedler. They're just like such a workhorse. Uh, I really love the black ones in particular. So that wasn't... Uh, there wasn't any surprise here, <laughs> but the graphite tint, I am glad I had kind of an opportunity to use them. And I admit I did not open my regular watercolor palette, even though I keep saying that, you know, for me, the most important thing is how these things work with watercolors. But I have used pencils with watercolors endless times, endless times. There's no surprises here. So I thought it would actually be fun to explore the graphite tint uh, as watercolors and I mean that red it's in the palette it's on the top left corner there's something about it it's really pretty so I might try to combine it with my um, you know regular watercolors I like also the look of this I think this whole combination of the graphite tint and then like the tinted paper it has a certain atmosphere to it it looks kind of you know, like a warm, maybe slightly vintage, just a different look. Very fun. Uh, I think if you do uh, portraits or, you know, urban sketching or landscapes, I think you would really, really enjoy it. I didn't want to force myself to paint or sketch uh, subjects that I just don't usually sketch I really want to see how these mediums and products can work for me for what I do most of the time and this is for me like a big part of you know finding products that work for me and not just grabbing a product and trying to see what I can paint with it that fits the product that's not yeah this just doesn't make sense for me and yeah, here's the gray one. I've had this one for a long time and never used it, but I thought um, no time like the present. And this time I thought, okay, instead of starting with a pencil, I'll start with the graphite tint with that gorgeous color <laughs> and see how I feel about it. The gray paper is, I, I don't know, it's kind of cold. I don't like this shade. Uh, personal preference thing, the quality is as high as the brown one but something about the brown one uh, really just speaks to me more uh, at the moment but I think you can see the um, intensity of these and how beautiful they look so I was impressed with their performance and I did enjoy using them um, I wish they were permanent once dry that would have been great or at least you know they don't have to be permanent, but just don't rub off and make everything messy. That would have been helpful, uh, but it is what it is. And yeah, it is it is a, a unique look. So now I'm trying to see if I can use also the graphite tint pencils. Again, these are, they're a great product. They are kind of unique in the, um, the feel of them. You know, they're like graphite pencils, but with a tint. Um, but there's nothing unusual here. I've used them many times. I do like them. I just somehow in the last months I've leaned more uh, into kind of brighter pencils. And so it, it's mostly a color thing and not a product or quality thing, if that makes sense. Hopefully I explain myself <laughs> uh, somewhat logically. 
anyway, uh, again, this was a lot of fun. I do feel more uh, like I have warmer feelings <laughs> towards the <laughs> uh, graphite tint palette, which, you know, I tried it when I got the, the product, but then I kind of forgot about it or I thought, okay, this is just like a bit too messy. But I do think uh, it might be unique enough to... Um, you know, kind of tolerate the rubbing off graphite issue. So here comes my Pentel pencil. And, you know, probably some of it is just like the, the lead that I use like a softer lead. But it's just this pencil is really nice to hold. What can I tell you? It, it has that metal heavy weight to it that I personally enjoy. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't a lot of like really, you know, um, a lot of discoveries <laughs> made here. <laughs> I probably need to pick uh, more exciting products from my stash. I am kind of debating. I have a lot of um, more, of, let's say, like craft grade products that honestly I'm torn uh, myself whether to you know film videos with them or just like toss them um, a lot of them are good products I'll give you an example I have a lot of like ranger products that I love like I love the colors some of like oxide inks or distress uh, stains and like spray form those are fun but uh, my problem with it, so most of these products are dye based as opposed to pigment based and so they are not light fast. Now that is not an issue, but when I paint something, I don't want to have to like think, okay, I can only use this digitally. I can't use this um, as like original art, not that currently I'm selling original art, but I don't know, there's something about... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure what to do, honestly. I'm torn. So if you have any, like, helpful feedback, uh, suggestions, advice, um, if you use also products that are not, like, artist grade, what do you think about this? I don't know. I kind of, you know, I want to get good use out of them. But on the other hand, I don't know how realistic it is, like, how likely am I to really use them? Although, you know, I, I paint a lot of paintings that then turn into um, printed fabrics or something like this. So in that case, it really doesn't matter if I use light fast products or not. Uh, so I'm thinking I should I can always just use, you know, colors that I love and it doesn't matter if it's a artist grade watercolor or if it's a um, ranger spray. So, yeah, not sure. I do want to make a video with watercolor mediums. I think that'll be an interesting and fun video to make. And yeah, just go through my products. Uh, as for pencils, I think they're kind of a staple. And it's always good to have a few favorites to turn to. And it's also always good to sketch. I think it's a good way of exploring composition, exploring value. If you can make uh, a simple sketch look interesting, then you have already something good and you can build on that. Uh, here are some close-ups just to show you there's no masterpiece here, just to show you how, I mean, look at those. The, the graphite tint pans are fun, no doubt about it. So just to show you a bit of a close up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon with another one. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.